long story short, they attack and have attacked us, but we will kick their asses. <laughs> and to be serious, this is enormous act of aggression, but I hope and I believe that Ukraine will stand against it and win this war. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, let's go to music then. For starters, could you tell me about the uh, times around 2016 and the uh, start of Wolfanger? That's a <clears throat> really funny story about how everything has begun. Uh, the trick is that most uh, of Wolfanger members uh, were already members of other bands. So we have already played together before founding the, the Wolfhanger. And uh, one day we just decided that we want to play different music. And uh, that's how Wolfhanger story has begun. That's simple. <laughs> Let's talk about the new single. Glory to the Heroes, it's in, of course important piece of music, so could you tell me about the song, a bit, a bit of the background and uh, of course the collaboration with uh, Tuomas Saukkonen? Uh, let's start from, from the collaboration itself and the background that stands behind this collaboration. The Everything uh, started uh, in 2020, if I'm not mistaken, when uh, we uh, played a cover for one of the uh, latest at the time Wolfheart uh, album. We covered the track which is called Ashes and uh, the uh, cover we, we have made. Uh, the Thomas liked that cover that much that uh, he invited our uh, frontman uh, Petro to uh, make to write uh, to record the guest vocal for uh, upcoming Wolfheart single, which is called Skull Soldiers. And uh, after that, we continue to stay in touch with them. And when uh, everything uh, started, when the war has started, uh, Thomas reached us out, and uh, that was actually his idea. Uh, to create the track, uh, release it as a single, and all costs earned from it uh, would be uh, used to uh, help Ukrainian army, help Ukraine. And that's actually what is going on right now. We already help in the way we can. Going a bit uh, deeper in your music, uh, where do you draw inspiration for the music and lyrics usually? Uh, literally, literally from everywhere. Uh, from emotions we experience, from uh, things we hear, see, taste, uh, from everything. The last album, uh, Ancient Call, was released in 2019. So, uh, do you already have a information or a feel for the next album? That's actually hard because we, uh, since we have released that album, we uh, continue to create new music and uh, for now, if I'm not mistaken, we have up to 20 uh, new tracks, but it's really hard to compile them in into uh, a single masterpiece and uh, it slows us uh, a little bit down despite the war that has came to our country. But uh, I believe our next album will show up relatively soon. We've been talking about uh, the possible upcoming album and you having uh, about 20 songs ready. So what kind of uh, musical direction are we going to hear in those songs? The most problem we have is that this music is too different to uh, exist within uh, one album. We have uh, some traditional uh, melodic death metal tracks, we have uh, some uh, influence tracks that are influenced by, uh, for example, Lamb of God. We have uh, a lot of symphonic uh, tracks, but uh, from the other hand, the second half of uh, the material we have right now is uh, composed in more aggressive and raw manner, which 
doesn't uh, how can I say the sim uh, symphonication of this uh, music will spoil everything so uh, at the moment we are in progress of uh, figuring out the concept of uh, next album what uh, should it be how should it sound and uh, when we figure it out i guess something ex exciting will happen let's talk a bit about the ukrainian metal scene how do you see the scene in the past few years of course current situation not included uh, based on what i see it grows I see uh, a number of uh, Ukrainian bands who signed up with major, uh, uh, how can I say, uh, for example, uh, Ginger, Ignea, uh, Stone Jesus and uh, much more band has uh, signed up a contract with Napalm Records. That means something to me and uh, that makes our metal scene more famous across the globe. So I have seen the, how can I say, it tends to grow. Let's talk a bit more about Wolfanger's uh, future. Did you have any plans uh, that the war has now uh, somehow stopped? And do you think that you can get right back on track after the war? Uh, of course, we have a lot of plans. We uh, expect for our next album and uh, a number of albums that will be released after this one uh, to be published. But uh, for now, unfortunately, I can't say uh, the exact dates because, you know, the war is unpredictable. But uh, for sure, uh, when we win this war, when Ukraine win this war, we uh, for sure will get back on track and uh, we'll release more cool music, probably. Uh, we'll have more exciting collaboration, who knows.